I welcome you back to this wonderful channel. In this video, we are going to talk about unify switching. And under unify switching, we have enterprise, professional, standard, and utility. These are various versions or models of unify switches and under the category they fall. So we have the enterprise which normally deals with large users or large um, devices as in enterprise. We have professional which comes after enterprise and then we have standard which also comes after professional and then we have utility which also comes after standard. So we will go through each one and get to understand how the level of each switch from the enterprise to, to the utility and their capability obviously are mostly different from each other based on their capabilities so let's get deeper on these switches so when you watch on the screen this is how beautiful this switch comes and this is how the design is when it's installed at your premises or anywhere you actually install it this is how you can visually see them with unified network cables connected to the various spots on these switches and these are PoE switches okay let's read more about it it has no lines fees which means when you buy this switch it is a forever um, switch you've bought you don't need to actually um, you don't have to be buying lines for this switch it has co layer 3 comprehensive switching features those who know much about um, Cisco network switches probably you've come across layer 3 switch in Cisco the same thing applies to this kind of switch in Unify and other layer 3 switches as well they basically have routing capabilities that's the meaning of layer 3 it has advanced network topology it has an intuitive port and VLAN management. It also comprises of global switch configuration. And then it has a centralized remote management. Thoughtful innovations. And so basically, what this seeks to describe is when this switch, this type of switch is typically installed, this is how you will see them this is how the connection goes like you know because it's poe enabled you'll be able to power those devices using this poe switch and so this is how visually it looks like okay very awesome and then designed for sale this switch especially the enterprise and professional switches are designed purposely for large scale network okay for data, data centers okay for base stations a big server room which contains networking gadgets which normally serves a multitude of people in a locality in a city or in a country this is where you would typically have to deploy this kind of switch there especially the enterprise switch and so it's actually designed for sale as it says and it's wonderfully insightful it has a very nice intuitive um, graphical interface 
the platform of which it has been designed makes it so comprehensive for you to see all connected devices on your network and even know the ports which are active the bandwidth that goes through the port and etc it has a very rich interface and I will urge you to get this kind of switch these are the kind of things it supports topology this is the topology and then we have VLAN management and then port manager and then the network viewer so these are the kind of things you actually see in this switch it is a feature complete switching platform so we have the layer 2 and these are the features which are contained in the layer 2 we have IGMP snooping STP and proprietary loop protection port isolation storm control voice VLAN port mirroring rate limiting LACP port aggregation 802.1 X Mac and radius authentication DHCP snooping and guiding jumbo frames and flow control so this is the features which which are contained in the layer 2 part of this switch then we have the layer 3 which is DSCP relay DSCP for locally managed networks inter VLAN routing and then static routing and these are various features you typically found in route routers network routers but because it's a level of switch which is layer 2 and layer 3 you also find this kind of a few of them in this switch one interface and then many form factors which means all these various types of switches can be mounted at various platforms or various interfaces example this switch per its design is rack mounted and so you can mostly or it's suitable to be installed in a rack okay and then we have the wall mounted type which is this type so you have its um, mounting kit which is installed on a wall and then you have the switch plugged onto the mounting kit and then you know you connect them to your PoE enabled devices and then they get powered on and then we have outdoor ready so this is typically installed in a conduit box on a pole and so as you can see this is a switch and it's getting its power from this power supply here and then we have one which is waterproof and then um, this type is desktop and so if you notice this type is mostly for it's mostly the utility type now let's compare the models and at the models we have the enterprise which is high capacity as I told you dealing with multitudes we have professional high power which comes after enterprise we have standard fanless and silent and so this can be typically installed in a normal server room which with full of air condition and then we have this utility which is compact versatility let's check on the number of ports each one have so enterprise has ports of 24 or 48 professional has 24 or 48 standard has 16 24 or 48 and then utility has up to 16 ports. the downlink speed enterprise has up to 10 gigabits per second professional has 1 gigabit per second standard has 1 gigabit per second and utility is up to 10 gigabit per second 
the uplink speed enterprise comprises of up to 25 gigabits per second professional comprises of 10 gigabits per second standard comprises of 1 gigabit per second and utility is up to 10 gigabit per second enterprise support when you come to the poe outputs enterprise supports up to poe plus professional supports up to poe plus plus standard supports up to poe plus utility supports up to poe plus plus the poe availability on enterprise is up to 720 watts professionally is up to 600 watts standard is up to 195 watts and utility is up to 430 watts power redundancy the enterprise comprises of unified power backup ready and the professional also has unified power backup ready so only these two has this power redundancy feature then we have power method all accept ac power except utility which has ac power and or poe input based on model if you come to the mountain enterprise professional and standard support rack mount utility rather supports desktop pole and on a wall and then the outdoor ready like which ones can be stored outdoor utility model can be installed outdoor so basically this is what I can talk about with regards to unify network switching these are the various switches you can find this is the enterprise unify switch thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos and share my videos as well and your comments are expected thank you